Hello one and all, welcome to Seen Through Glass and welcome to Italy. I'm in my hotel room because today I'm working with Fiat on a video that they're making for their pickup truck, the fullback. It is bright and early, I've come here straight from Dubai so I'm a little bit tired, hence why I can't do my shoelaces up. And this hotel also has very thin walls, hence why I'm whispering. But anyway, I'm going to get breakfast now, grab some coffee and then we're heading to a racetrack just outside Rome. to Italy straight away from Dubai rather than London is that at least it is sunny and it's freezing cold. I'm still adapting to cold weather after LA. Um, but yeah, as I say, it is a beautiful sunny day. We are outside Rome somewhere. I think it's like a 40 minute drive to the racetrack that we're headed to. I've got my uh, Giallo Moderna jacket with me. We have arrived at our morning destination and we are literally in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> that is because we have come to a motocross track. So what's happening today, as I say, filming with Fiat uh, for some of the content that they are doing to sort of celebrate or make awareness of the fact that they now sponsor the World Motocross Championship. So today I've come to meet up with Tony Cairoli, who is like the Michael Schumacher or the Valentino Rossi of World Motocross. He's the least eight time world champion. And together we're gonna take on the Fiat fullback. another crew here today and Tony's about to do his interview with them there's an Italian uh, YouTube channel or website so they're just getting set up to do an interview the car or the, the truck parked up very nicely behind the track is still here I'm just kind of chilling oh look I've been filmed which is uh, <laughs> which is always interesting right so after Tony is done with his interview for the Italians he is going to show me how to drive the fullback around the track. So let's get the GoPros out. Uh, one, two, should we go for three? Is three a bit intense? Uh, let's try three and see how we get on. Okie dokie. Tony, hey, Sam, hey, very nice to meet you. Nice Thank you for this. No so you're gonna show me how to take on a motocross track in a yeah. pickup truck, perfect. <laughs> This is so steep. Yeah. <laughs> this is insane. From the top, I didn't think it looked that bad. The guys were like, oh, oh. <laughs> they're like, oh, you'll be fine. <laughs> and we got motorbikes coming past us. <laughs> this is mental. <laughs> sure, that's your everyday experience. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> This is actually the track where I always ride. Oh really? For training, so it's okay. Uh, nice. It's kind of uh, my home track. Is it got a bit of everything that you need? Yeah, for you have uh, you have hard pack, uh, you have like hard soil, and then you have one, one piece of uh, sand okay. down the hill. And, uh, nice. So it's quite of. Uh, Kind of tech, technical track. And some wet sections because this car's already covered in mud, so I yeah, assume yeah, you've wet. been through some puddles and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Nice. wet is always a 
part of motocross. Like mud, mud is always part of motocross. And in terms of driving this truck across the course, do you have any tips? Because I have very limited experience with off-roading. Uh, yeah, th this is a very technical track with a lot of hills also, so it's kind of, uh, kind of uh, sketchy in some places. Okay, like, nice. So. <laughs> I think our single goal has to be to make the cameraman throw up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if he vomits, we've won. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, this is very steep. Yeah. This is very steep. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. It's handling itself well. I feel very relaxed. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's <laughs> Sit back. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it very different as well for you doing it in a in a truck like this rather than on the bike? Is yeah, it quite yeah, weird? Yeah, yeah. Here it's more safe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can imagine. I mean, you have the warmer on, so it's of course. Cold and very relaxed, in the, yeah. In the summer, you can have the air con. So <laughs> Put the so music hot. on. <laughs> it's kind of nice. I guess a little slower than the bike, though. Much slower. Yeah, much slower, yeah. It's very, very nice. We don't get so. as much air over the jumps. No. <laughs> the truck has handled it great, though. Yeah, yeah. You look very calm and relaxed. No. I, 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 I have one also because I live in Belgium. Sure. And I have another, another full back there. Oh, okay. And, uh, I take the, the you, you take it on the, the limit. Okay, oh. nice. <laughs> you can push it, so you know what it's capable of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Amazing. Do you trust me? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm hoping it's going to be easier than it looked. Yeah. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Well, it feels remarkably easy, but I know the scary stuff still to come. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just go on the brakes. Go on the brakes. Yeah, and straight. Straight down? Yeah. Brake. Yeah. <laughs> this is a very bizarre feeling. Oh, but it's safe. Yeah, I feel it. that's the thing, is behind the wheel now. Yeah. It feels fine, like yeah. the car's doing everything. Yeah. You feel the system's working. Yeah, yeah. But from the passenger seat, I was like, oh my god. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> and this is something I know that they talk about is that the turning circle is very small so we can yeah, negotiate, yeah. yeah, negotiate the track easily. Yeah, yeah, it's very very usable. Yeah. It's definitely the most I've ever concentrated whilst making a video. Yeah. <laughs> yeah usually, like, hey, what's going on? Yeah, usually on the, yeah, you on the asphalt is... Yeah, it's a bit easier just yeah. to cruise. Yeah. Nice, we survived. Yeah, I'm surprised. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much, man. Thank you for your help. No, no problem. We're off roading kings now. You did, yeah. you did good. <laughs> you did perfect. 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 Thank you very much. Awesome. Yeah. Too cool. I genuinely cannot believe how easy that was. It is ridiculous. The full pack is a monster. In the passenger seat, I was cacking myself. I was like, I, ca I cannot do this. Because from up here, the track doesn't look that bad. But then Tony's driving it, I was like, what the hell? But he did look quite relaxed when he was doing so, but I thought that's because he's a pro. But then I jumped in the driver's seat, and literally, you just don't really do much. You just kind of point it, and you can feel all the systems of the truck working, and you can hear things, you know, four-wheel drive crunching and the central differential locking up. I'll explain the entire systems properly, because we're going to get our hands back on the truck a bit later. But, yeah, bloody hell, I'm an off-roading king! Okay, so morning filming is basically finished, and as you can imagine, the fullback is pretty filthy. <laughs> so, the guys are about to take it for a car wash, but I asked if I could take it for a quick drive down on the road, because whilst, of course, it's quite fun to throw a pickup truck around a motocross course, uh, this car's gonna be usable day to day as well. So, 
I've come out of four wheel drive, low gear ratio, locked center differential and into the normal, let's stay four wheel drive because it's a bumpy driveway. I'm gonna go find a car wash. And we are back to having a car that looks new, uh, which this is. As I turned up this morning, the car was already caked in mud. Um, and it is very cool seeing it is now all shiny and white with all the chrome details everywhere. As you may be able to tell, we are four deep in this truck right now because it is a double cab. And what I have not mentioned at all is any of the specs in this car. So this is a 2.4 litre diesel, 180 horsepower and about 430 newton meters of torque. So this is a uh, all about pulling. You've got stuff in the flatbed. You can be towing stuff as well. It is definitely a utility vehicle at its best. But what is mad is that nowadays you get all of this kind of tech and equipment and luxury uh, in this truck, as well as being able to tackle a motocross course. I cannot believe, I still can't get over how easy this thing went up and down all those hills and cliffs and divots and that is massively down to the sort of dynamic driving range and setup which is all controlled by a big old dial down here so at the minute i'm in just the normal two-wheel drive which is kind of like the uh, optimum for the road we can then switch it to four-wheel drive as well um uh, which is i guess is if it starts to get rainy or snowy or or muddy but then we start getting in two the central locking differential. So there are two settings for that, high range and low range, uh, or, or for the gear ratios, depending on just how crazy your off-roading is. When we went out with Tony earlier, we were in the most extreme mode you could be, um, which is the four-wheel drive, low range, central locked differential. My second favorite thing is this car has massive shifting paddles. <laughs> so whilst we're in a pickup truck with, uh, you know, as I say, a diesel, we still get the most amazing and gear shifter paddles which are really the main selling point for me with any car if it's got crazy shifter paddles like this i want it the julia the alpha julia had the very same thing uh, in the diesel car you still got these huge awesome gear shifting paddles and whilst you could argue that it's slightly pointless and a little bit over the top having them in a pickup truck i simply don't care because i absolutely love it anyway the car is looking fresh and clean i'm trying to stay away from as much well as possible we are headed back up to the uh, track to finish up uh, some last bits of filming, um, but yeah, it's just a, it's a very nice place to be on the road um, I can't give you a whole load more feedback because I say we're just cruising around, but I guess that's all you do in a pickup truck Now the car is back and looking clean there's a quick photo shoot taking place and the day is almost at an end I am so cold Tony's leaving. See you, Tony. And that is it. That is a wrap on my day with Fiat Professional. What an awesome day it has been. If you'd said that I uh, had to go and spend a day filming pickups, it wasn't always uh, the first thing that I think of when creating content for Seen Through Glass, but I cannot wait to see how the Fiat Guys video turns out. Make sure you're following me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, etc. I'll be sure to share a link to that. But it's also been a great experience, and I hope you guys have enjoyed this kind of behind the scenes aspect. Insane to me, Tony Cairoli. What an absolute lad. Um, yeah, any sportsman who is that accomplishment is always an honor and a privilege to get to chat to them. Um, I have limited experience going off-roading, so maybe it wasn't amazing that the fullback was able to just destroy that motocross course so easily, but to me it was pretty mind-blowing, and I had great fun, as I said, I do very limited stuff on tracks like that, so going up those vertical hills and dips and bounces uh, was pretty mad. I had an awesome, awesome time. Give the video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it, something a little bit different, and make sure to subscribe for plenty more videos to come.